Raw Hogan with the Boxing Voice. I'm here with Super Welterweight contender Joe Pickford. How are you, Joe? Thank you, yourself? Yeah, fantastic. So, uh, you've been under the radar in this really tough division. Yeah. Why, I don't know. You're, you've got 70 knockouts out of 18 pro fights. Is it because you're from down there in the south coast? Just hidden away down south for something like that. I don't know. I like, and to a degree, I think I'm a victim of my own success sometimes with the knockouts. Um, I've struggled in the past getting opponents, getting fights. Um, so maybe a bit of that. Um, I've been quite inactive. I had, a, I had a while out of the ring waiting for, for contracts to come to finish with the um, last promoter. So yeah, just Corona, everything like that, COVID, last two years, lockdown. Um, but, but we're here now, um, fighting in two weeks. Buzzing to get that out of the way. Um, I've, been, I've been relatively training for a fight since my last one, so yeah, I'm just excited to get back in there, get the, get the momentum going, and stay active and start winning titles this year. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess the pandemic has put a lot of people's careers on, yeah. on hold or slowed it down. But I mean, Super Worldweight's a really tough division. Um, yeah. Sam Gillies, the current English champ, uh, Troy Williamson, the British champ. Yes. Because you've got that quite successful run of knockouts, yeah. you're going to be looking this year at going against one of those guys? Yeah, 100%. Um, I mean, 2021, I've got two fights in, it was sort of my, my breakthrough year. Um, this year, I see pushing up the rankings and hopefully getting involved in some big fights, like you said. Um, personally, I'm confident in any of them fights, I, th I think I'll win them. Um, I also think that domestically, super white weight is wide open at the moment. Um, we've had a few boys move up weights, possible retirements, you know, people not boxing anymore. Um, and then below, Troy Williamson, he's defending, he might have moved on by the time I get there. If not, then so be it. But um, yeah, I think it's wide open now and all of the fights I'm open to and all the fights I'm confident taking. And you are with Boxer now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sky okay. Sports Boxer. Yeah, you've got a great platform. Yeah, literally, I think Sky Sports Boxer, I think it's the biggest platform. You see the last three shows they put on um, Taylor, Eubank, and what was the other one last Tom week? Brooke. Tom Brook. Yeah, I went up and left for that. Um, so, yeah, they're putting massive shows on. It's a massive platform, and, and, and I'm glad to be riding the wave for it. And the show you're on is not bad either. No, it, is. it is. It's a good show. Like, like I said, all the shows they're putting on at the moment are good quality, top quality people fighting on them. And yeah, it just, it just makes, makes it easy for me as a fighter to get motivated and um, yeah, just keep staying, staying fit and fighting. So, uh, how regularly would you like to fight this year? Um, listen, I don't want to look past next, next weekend, so we'll get that one out of the way and I'm happy. I want to stay in the gym, stay fit, and get back out again on the ASAP. Um, obviously, we'll have to sit down and talk about it after. Hopefully, it'll be a tough fight next, but I'm pretty sure it will be. Yeah. So, yeah, just keep active, that's the main thing for me. Obviously, you, you mentioned your pro career there. Obviously, you're a big, big puncher. In the amateurs, what sort of uh, amateur pedigree did you, did you have? Um, much the same, it was a lot of stoppages. Um, when I was five years old, and stick thin arms, little skinny, scrawny kid, I was still up for people out, so it's obviously something that's always been with me. But nah, that's still the same now, to be fair. <laughs> but now, nah, yeah, I, I'd never really. I had the luck of the draw the, with the um, scoring and that with the amateurs. I turned pro very young, pretty much as soon as I could, because I didn't really have a passion or a love for the amateur game. I always wanted to turn, turn pro when I could. So yeah, I got to a few finals. I've done all right, but uh, I started taking it more seriously, and I was always nah, asking to turn professional when I could. But you did the right thing. There's too many guys staying the amateurs to win nearly 30 and yeah. their best years have gone by then so yeah, so, yeah. yeah. So that's it as a town pro early obviously I'll be, it's been lucky in a way because there's been a lot of ups and downs in my career and I've had a little patch as well I've been inactive but I'm still like I'm 28 now I'm signed with a boxer I think definitely things are looking the right way so uh, you're still based down in Southampton? Um, I live in Southampton, I train in Bournemouth, so it's a 40 minute, 45 minute 
journey up the road, which is, you know, is a lot better than Manchester when I was training there. But yeah, it's, everything's comfortable now. Like, I'm happy where I'm training, comfortable training, happy with who I'm signed with, Boxer, Sky Sports, everything's looking good. So it's just, it's just down to me to keep fighting now, stay busy, stay fit, and keep winning. Have you managed to get any sparring in with any of the top names? I've done loads of sparring with top world, world champions, British champions, coming through when I was younger. I'll stay active now. We've got a few decent boys in the gym that we do we, we do a lot of in house sparring. Um, travel about a bit as we get closer to fights. But yeah, I'm just, I'm just like I said, I'm comfortable with it all now. Um, I feel experienced and like I know what I'm doing. So it's just a matter of getting fights now and keeping winning. Dream's got to be a uh, world title shot at St Mary's. <laughs> it would be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, we'll take it a step at a time. Right? Yeah, of course. Like yeah. I say, get this one out of the way on the weekend. Um, hopefully we'll win titles, get a couple more wins before the year's out, and then who knows what happens. Yeah. 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 Oh, I mean, I would love it. South Coast, uh, big, big show. Yeah. 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 Weekend down on the South Coast. Yeah. Yeah. It's a dream, isn't it? It's a dream. Yeah. Love that. One of the other um, South Coast lads, um, Mickey McKinson. Yeah. From, from Portsmouth. I know yeah. Southampton and Portsmouth don't get on, so we're going to be cheering them on. Uh, mate, I wish him all the best. I've known Mikey since we was amateurs on the same show together, championships and that. Um, but he's got a very tough task. Um, but yeah, I think he's very confident in himself. He believes he's going to go out there and do it, and I don't think he's going to let himself down. I think he'll put on a good show. Like I say, very, very tough ask. But yeah, I wish him all the best. Mm -hmm. And in your division, uh, hopefully it's going to go ahead now. The youngest muted between Castano and Charlo. How do, yeah. how do you see that one going? Um, I don't know. It was a draw. Did they draw last time? Um, I think Charlo was always a favourite to win it. Um, we'll see. Obviously, they've had a draw already, so it's a close fight. But we'll, we'll probably see Charlo win it next time, I think. So it's probably best if he does win because he'll probably then vacate the local division. <laughs> yeah, well, it's better for better for all the other boxers if that happens. So yeah. All right, well, it was exciting times for you, for the division, and for the sport. So uh, yeah, we look forward to seeing your next fight in a couple of weeks. Yep. Another big knockout we can expect. And we'll see, won't we? Yeah. All right, Joe. Uh, thanks for the boxing voice, and uh, we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Cheers, mate. Thank you video feel free to hit the like subscribe and share as always if you want to support us to the next level head over to the patreon.com backslash the boxing voice we have tons of exclusive from border wars and title betting shows the list goes on and on and on but in addition to that if you guys have questions for fighters trainers and promoters this is where you can submit them we will run out get these questions answered and put it back on the show just for you guys appreciate it peace